Hey, welcome back everyone. We are going through an Azure AZ 900 Azure Fundamentals course. My name is Sushant Satish and I'm your instructor for this course. In this walkthrough, we're going to learn about how to create an Azure policy. And then we're going to test the policy and delete the policy assignment as well after we complete that. So now we are in our Azure portal. Within the Azure portal, we have to go to all services to find the Azure policies. So what we are going to go and do today is we are going to go through a walkthrough and we will create an Azure policy to restrict deployment of Azure resources to a specific location. So within the policy configurator, this is where you can see all the policies what you have created. Based on the policies, you would be able to see your overall compliance because once you apply these policies to a scope, the scope could be your resource group or it could be your subscription. And then these policies are going to go and check the compliance of these uh, resources or whatever the condition you put apply on top of your uh, policy. What you're seeing right now are the definitions available within the Azure policy by default. You can filter these by types. Uh, you can filter these by categories, etc. You can, of course, go and create your own definition as well. But, oh man, you should check out the pre-built or built-in policies, which is available within the Azure policy widget. So let's go and see a specific Azure policy. So this particular Azure policy, which is allowed virtual machine size queues, will prevent anybody from recreating any other virtual machine queues, the one which you're going to mention within the template. So the use case scenario for this is you apply this on a particular resource group and give control to a particular team and they won't be able to create any other family or any other type of virtual machine apart from what you have mentioned before. You can go to assignments to find out all the assignments you have made within your subscription or you can create a new initiative or a new policy as well. So what we're going to do now is we are going to create a new policy. Within the policy, we have a scope, exclusions, and the policy definition. The scope is nothing but where you are going to apply this policy. You can start with your subscription and then you can narrow it down by resource groups. If you don't want to apply to a resource group, you can leave it at the subscription level itself. Then comes the exclusions. This is where you add a resource group or any other type of resources who doesn't want to be part of this particular policy. So you can, of course, add a policy for your org wide, and then you can add a couple of other resource groups which is not part of this policy as well. And the next one is policy definition. That's where we will go and add a new policy. Basically, what we can do is we can just browse through all the available policies over here, or we can filter by just typing a keyword. In this instance, we are trying to find a policy which is called allowed location. What basically this policy does is this enables you to restrict the location within your organization who can specify when deploying your resources. And you can use this to enforce your geographic compliance requirement as well. Sometimes your company have some sort of restrictions. So in this instance, we are going to create a policy. And then I'm going to restrict this policy by putting in a location called Japan West. So what that means is this policy will prevent anyone from creating any resources other than in region, which is Japan West. I'm going to leave rest of the setting as it is. We are not going to touch that for Azure AZ 900 fundamentals and hit on review create. So the policy has been successfully created. It's fairly quick. The next step, what we can do is we can go back to our Azure and we can create a resource now. And then we can verify that the applied policy is taken effect. What we are going to do now is we go on to all services and we selected storage account. We are going to create a brand new storage account. 
the objective of creating this storage account is to verify that we can create a storage account in ECUS, for example. So I'm going to provide a storage account name. Again, one, once you give a storage account name, make sure that you give a unique name. And uh, I'm going to leave the location as default, which is ES, uh, East US 2. And I'm going to pretty much leave other settings on default itself. So let's try to create a storage account. I'm sure the validation will be successful because validation doesn't test the policy function. When it starts to deploy, this is when the ARM template goes through each and everything within the Azure environment to check if there is any policy applied within the subscription level or is there any, or is there any other set of policies which is preventing it from creating in the resource group, etc. As we expected, the storage account was not able to create uh, within this subscription because it says that uh, there was a policy which try to deploy this there was a policy which prevented it from deploying it so you can of course click on the policy this can take you directly back to uh, the policy assignment and it will show you japan west is the specified location within the subscription where it expect these resources to be created so, so we got the expected results out out of this experiment so the next thing what we are going to go and do is we are going to go to the policy and see if the policy is in compliance shape. So when you click on the policy, it basically shows you is it compliant or not. The compliance is nothing but it goes through the whole resources to make sure that there is no other resources which is outside of this boundary, things like that. So what we're going to do now is we're going to delete this policy and uh, we are going to create another storage account and this time there is no policy in place within the subscription to prevent any other storage account or any other resources from being created right so the policy is successfully deleted i'm going to go back and create a new storage account um, there are other common scenarios where the allowed location policy can be useful uh, things like cost tracking so you could have different subscription for different regional location. So this policy will ensure that all resources are deployed in the intended region to help cost tracking. Another scenario is data residency and security compliance. So you could also have data residency requirement and create subscription per customer or specific workload and define that all resources must be deployed in a particular database to ensure data and security compliance are compliance are met. So again, I selected the default values, selected East US as the location, and create the storage account. I'm sure this time, because this policy is del deleted, we will be able to successfully create the storage account. It won't take much time; hardly takes like 30 seconds to create a storage account. So our current deployment is underway and looks like our storage account is being created successfully. So I can go to my resource and I can find that the storage account is created and I can see that the location is East US. Congratulations, you have created an Azure policy to restrict deployment of Azure resources to a particular data center. To avoid additional cost, you know what I'm going to do next. I'm going to remove all these resources I just created for this exercise. Now that we have learned how to create an Azure policy, and we created and tested an allowed location policy and we deleted the policy after the assignment as well. In the next lesson, we're going to talk about Azure role-based access control. So I will see you in the next one. Till then, take care.